elect infants? I don't know. Lately being bannered about on social media, there's this topic about elect infants. As a matter of fact, I've been asked this question twice and I said, I'll go ahead and just deal with this. I don't think it's going to be very long, but are there babies or infants that are elect? Now this comes into, into play when we're talking about what happens if a baby dies? Do all babies go to heaven? And there are those that believe that there are certain babies that go to heaven. There are elect infants, elect babies, because God, even himself in dealing with his enemies, will tell will tell his people to kill everyone, including the babies. And so in First Samuel 5, I'm sorry, 15, verse 3, we see this being told. He says, now go and strike Amalek and utterly destroy all that he has and do not spare him but put to death both man and woman, child and infant, even ox and sheep, camel and donkey. So everyone must go, even the animals, but even the babies. And for when you bring up babies, when you invoke infants, that obviously is going to strike a chord with people because we're talking about babies. We're talking about the, the most innocent, the most vulnerable of all people, including the babies of Amalekites. You think what you want to think about even someone that we know that might be an enemy to our country or to our faith. Let's say someone in a Muslim majority country that wants to destroy your country and certainly destroy Christianity. But what about those babies? We don't, we have no ill feelings towards them. As a matter of fact, we have nothing but love for them. And so to think about one of them dying, does God decide that those babies, when they die, that they go to heaven, they go to hell, are they cursed? Are they elect? Well, the truth be told is there is no such thing as an elect baby or not elect. If there is, we don't know about it. In other words, the Bible doesn't tell us. The Bible, there's a lot of things that the Bible doesn't tell us. So is it, is it possible that these babies of the Malachites go to be with him in heaven, that he has sovereignly decided that he is going to show love to them and bring them? It could be. It could also be that he doesn't. He's God. He knows. He knows exactly what these people are going to be. What they may not be. He may be he may be having the, the children, the infants destroyed on earth so they can live with him in eternity. I don't know. There is no way to know because the Bible doesn't say so. You can give a guess, but the guess is not based on scripture. There are passages though people kind of draw off of, for example, in Romans 9, verse 13. Let's start in verse 12. It says, It was said uh, to her, the older will serve the younger, just as it is written, Jacob I love. But Esau, I hate it. Now, this is before they were even born. So is God saying that he loved one baby and hated another baby? Well, the child Esau is not spoken of when he says that he hates him. He's not saying it in the way that we might think of it. This really just means just rejection. As a matter of fact, let me give you an example of someone, the term hate being used, but not in the sense where I can't stand this person. This person is vile and wretched in my sight and you want to destroy them. Jesus makes a statement. You tell me what he, what do you think he means by hate? In Luke 14, 26, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. So are we told that we are to hate, despise, view as wretched, want to utterly destroy our mothers, our fathers, uh, our wives, our children? Is that, that's not what he's saying. That is not what he's saying. In terms of preference, in terms of favor, those things don't compare to what he's talking about. And so the same thing in terms of favoring Jacob over Esau, that's what he meant. He didn't mean that he hated his guts. He absolutely could not stand. He cursed the day that he was even created. No, because he created Esau. He's the one that formed him. So if he hated him to that degree, Esau never would have been born. But he's trying to make a point, and that's why that, that statement is brought up in Romans 9 about God's sovereign choice, and he is the one that's in control, which goes back to this issue about babies. We cannot say if babies are elect or not. We don't know. There is no passage. There are some passages we might want to look to to kind of give us some comfort, but ultimately we just don't know. And you have to just trust God enough when you say, I don't know, and know that God does know, and he's in charge. He knows exactly what he's doing, and everything is going to work out for his glory, for his purpose, as well as our good. That is, if we are in Christ. Amen.